Climate change favors the spread of dangerous diseases. Progressive global warming is the source of many new challenges for humanity. One of them is the increased risk of specific diseases in places where they did not occur so far. However, the matter is much more complex. There are links between the spread of diseases and climate change. A team of experts from various institutions assembled by the University of Hawaii at Manoa decided to take a closer look at them. The description and results of this work have been published in the journal Nature Climate Change. Researchers approached this issue in a systemic way. They took into account 10 threats to people resulting from the conduct of global warming. These are temperature rise, droughts, heat waves, wildfires, extreme precipitation, floods, storms. In terms of low pressure systems, e.g. tropical storms, sea level rise, biogeochemical changes in the oceans and changes in landforms. Then, the available data began to look for examples of the influence of these 10 factors on the occurrence of diseases in humans. The lists collected all known infections that have affected humanity throughout its history, and then reviewed more than 70,000. Scientific publications in search of examples of combining the above-mentioned effects of global warming with the aforementioned diseases in the context of the existence of cause and effect relationships between them. In this way, every possible combination of causes and effects was taken into account and tested. It turned out that all 10 factors mentioned above had an impact on diseases caused by viruses bacteria, fungi and protozoa. The transmission of infection by water, air, direct contact and food was taken into account. The results of the analyzers showed that as many as 218 out of 375, or about 58%, known diseases that affect humans were influenced by one of the 10 factors with as many as 1,006 different ways leading to it. Various possibilities in this regard have been indicated in the interactive graphics prepared by the researchers. The conducted analyzers allow us to draw a number of conclusions that allow us to predict what awaits us in the future. Above all, climate change is bringing diseases closer to people. Both the territorial range of their occurrence and the time range allowing pathogens to spread are increasing. This applies to pathogens carried by mosquitoes, fleas, but also birds and some mammals. They are responsible for the transmission of diseases such as malaria, Zika and West Nile fever. The life cycle of pathogens has also been accelerated. Conditions for disease carriers have also improved. This is especially true for mosquitoes, which function much better at ever higher temperatures. On the other hand, climate change is also bringing humans closer to pathogens. This is related to forced migrations of people caused by floods or rising water levels. People become more exposed to, for example, typhus, cholera or legionellosis. Unfortunately, climate threats also reduce our ability to cope with disease. We are increasingly exposed to operating in unfavorable conditions, which exposes us to more frequent contact with pathogens, and on the other hand, people's access to medical care is deteriorating. A Neuralink implant implanted in a monkey's brain. He can play video games using only his mind. Scientists at Neuralink implanted a wireless implant into the brain of a monkey. The technology that scientists employed by Elon Musk's company are working on will help paralyzed people to control and control various devices, such as a computer, in the future. In the long term, the brain-computer interface is supposed to increase the intellectual capabilities of people. So far, a device implanted in a monkey allows her to play Pong with her mind alone.
Neuralink was founded in 2017. Its main goal is to find a way to connect a human with a computer. Speaking about the company's goals, Musk pointed to enabling paralyzed people to become at least partially independent and use a computer, for example. But the chips implanted in the brain will also increase the intellectual abilities of people, as Musk has repeatedly mentioned. In July 2019, during the first presentation of the achievements of scientists employed by Musk, several prototypes of devices were shown including machine for implanting electrodes and a miniature chip that is able to read, clean and amplify signals from the brain. A year later, scientists from Neuralink showed the world pigs with an implanted chip. One of them had an implant implanted to monitor the activity of her neurons related to the area of the brain that controls the sensory signals from her mouth. The new experiments that Musk talked about in a recent interview were conducted on monkeys. While the implants implanted in pigs last year had wires extending from the animals' heads, those implanted in monkeys are now wireless. Neuralink is developing an interface that will allow people to interact with and control computers using only their thoughts. The technology consists of a brain implant that can read neuronal activity through a series of electrodes and microscopic fibers. But there is still a long way to go before testing the technology on humans. The devices will check the animals first. As Musk admitted, the monkey with the implant uses the new technology by playing the game Pong a 1972 simulation of table tennis using two-dimensional graphics. We already have a monkey with a wireless implant in its skull that can play video games using only its mind. One of the things we are trying to determine is whether we can let two monkeys play this, mental, pong with each other. That would be pretty cool, Musk said. Responding to concerns about the animal's welfare, Musk pointed out that the monkey, looks completely normal, you can't even see where the implant was placed. Pressed by the host, Musk admitted that the main purpose of this technology would be to enable people with brain or spinal injuries to control robotic devices. He added that one day this technology could allow humans to merge with machines and, evolve into cyborgs. He added that people are already almost like cyborgs, given our dependence on computers, smartphones and various other digital devices. Interacting with such devices via hand movement or voice control is relatively slow. Musk wants to eliminate these types of low bandwidth interactions and establish a direct neural connection between computers and our brains. Such a connection, he said, could happen at the speed of thought. What's more, according to Musk, this technology may in the future allow you to preserve the brain after the death of a person. Her memories and personality could be sent to another person or robot. Of course, all this can be considered in the context of the distant future. Currently, implants are only tested on animals. Although Musk, in response to a Twitter request from a paralyzed person, wrote that his company is in talks with the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, a regulatory body in the U.S. responsible for controlling and marketing, among others drugs, and hopes to start testing Neuralink in humans later this year.